before we start with the video today, I just want to show you guys that this level 12 right here had a Bal Inferno, and this level 30 that I'm about to scroll down to had a HBR A3 Insanity. Just thought it'd be pretty funny to put in the video considering this is about variants of guns, so hopefully you enjoy today's video. Yo, what is going on guys, my name is Friend of Machine, and today I've got you a start to a completely brand new, fresh series here on my channel, and I think this series will help you guys out quite a lot if you're not getting as much luck in your supply drops, and I know that person is me, I don't get anything in supply drops, I've got the Inferno ones, the Bal Inferno, if you don't know what that is, that's the Elite, well one of the Elite variants for the Bal that I'm using right here in this gameplay, and today's gameplay is actually a triple DNA bomb fail, it is a double DNA bomb, but I get on like an 11 gun streak really quick after the second DNA streak, and and a teammate blocks my way, so leave a like for the stupid teammate down below. Now I'm joking, but anyways, getting into today's series or new series, I'm going to explain what we're going to be doing in this series. Basically, if you haven't seen the title or the thumbnail or like the playlist that I'm going to put this in, it's all about turning them really, really bad or just even underused guns into the elite variants or equivalent or even better than the elite variants using attachments, perks and score streaks to complement the class. So today what we're going to be looking at is the BAL 27 and if you can't see right on your screen right now it is the BAL Assaulter, the enlisted variant, well one of them, I know there's like the Carbon and stuff like that and that is also a very good variant so if you have any variants like the Carbon or the Assaulter I suggest using them for this class. So anyways, on screen today we have got the BAL 27 Assaulter like I said before and we're rocking on it, the quick draw grip, the stock attachment which is just a freaking beast, it's probably the best attachment in the whole game and obviously for this class we're going to have to use the wildcard primary gunfighter, I just don't want to put the entire class on screen from like a screenshot because it'll take up the whole screen, you guys probably won't be able to see what's going on in the gameplay and me like what I'm doing, how I'm moving about the map and even just showing you how the gun really shoots and kills people as quick as it can or how I can get around the map as quick as I can so it's all about the mobility stock, the attachment honestly because it's just making you move faster when you aim down your sights and who doesn't want to do that because advanced warfare is all about movement and the final attachment is extended mag so when you're in a tricky situation you know that you've got enough bullets it's in one round just to basically shred someone down so for perks right now on your screen as you can see it is low profile which you definitely want to be using because it makes you stay off the radar and you just basically want that for a standard ground perk anyways because there's not really many perks in the perk one tier that are any good and low profiles mainly you must have so use that blind eye in the second perk tier for obvious reasons I don't want to be getting killed by score streaks who likes that no one likes it use blind eye and then for perk three we've got toughness and scavenger now scavenger is kind of a debatable perk because if you've got extended mags and you know you can get a lot of kills anyways with just blast suppressor and you can preserve your ammo because you've already got extended mags on uh, bear in mind as well because that gives you a buff up in kind of the terms of having ammo or having more ammo in your gun than when you start out normally without extending mags so if you don't want to use scavenger and use blast suppressor put that on but what makes this class stand out is kind of the score streaks as well because on the score streaks I've got them fully maxed out I've got UAV with threat detection enemy direction and extra time and then as you can see as well system hack with extra time another extra time and disable exosuits and this mainly it kind of allows the class to take its form because when you're using this class you want to be moving around as much as you can like I said before it has plus one mobility built into the class and nothing else and if you can see there is a lot of movements in this gameplay there's a lot of dashing there's a lot of aiming in really quick and shooting people and I think that's what this class is mainly about so you definitely want to be using at least the system hack with those two extra times and disable exosuits because you want the people to be able to not move as much as possible because if you can move and kind of get to places where they're like oh I can't shoot him and stuff like that then you're, you've just won the gunfight and you're gonna win the game hopefully I mean if your team pull together as well that's down to them but you can pull yourself together throughout the game and use this gun really effectively so what makes this gun like the obsidian steed well personally i don't think there are many factors separating this from the obsidian steed and i personally like using it better because i know i've picked up the steed a few times off just random teammates or whatever they haven't always had the best of attachments but i have got in them lobbies before where i've killed a sweaty guy who's got it with like quick draw stock and extended mags or something like that and i've used it and i have really enjoyed using it but since I've made this class, it's just such a good class. I've uploaded my video, or well, my last video, 128 second DNA bomb. This isn't the same class. This has got quick draw on instead of foregrip. And I just want to say for this class as well, there's one like kind of 
play spare for you to put something on so I'd suggest putting XO overclock on that if you want to completely replicate this class you could even just replicate it with the normal bal if you wanted but it wouldn't be kind of up there with an elite variant because this class up honestly it definitely is up there with the elite variants and that's what this series is all about making the best of the guns you've got because I know everyone doesn't get the best supply drops and unfortunately I'm one of them guys but I'm able to drop a triple DNA bomb right here for you guys with this very gun I'm showing you now and it just looks a whole lot better than all of the other battles I think like even when you aim down sights it seems to be a lot more agile it seems to be a lot more kind of swift in terms of movements and you can just zap onto people kill them really quick and it just works really well I mean I don't think damage is really a massive factor with the bell as long as it can kill quite quickly because it generally is a quite overpowered gun but once you get using it and once you get shooting the accuracy it's kind of a big part as well but honestly you can move around a lot and you can get to places a lot quicker you can get better gameplays with guns that you can move around quicker with I mean who wants to use an LMG where they're kind of just stood there and just not getting any kills at all it just doesn't make any sense but right here I think is kind of where I nearly die in my streak so I go up these steps here I go up these steps and then I look at this guy and then I'm like oh the teammate will get the guy behind me so I'm going to go behind me and I try and shoot the guy but he's in my way and then we both get killed so that's pretty unfortunate I get mad and call on the DNA bomb which you'll see right now and that's basically it for today so honestly like I said if you want to use this class setup personally it works for me and I think this is obviously uh, equivalent class to the Obsidian Steed. I, I want to know if you guys what you think of it as well. If you've got this variant of the gun, then let me know. But here is the final score on screen coming up right now when I go 95 to 7. So, whatever one gun you want to see next, guys, let me know in the comments below because I'll do whatever you want to do. I personally think this class setup is a beast, so make sure to try it out if you can do so. And leave a like on today's video as well as a favourite if you really enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next video on Friday. Peace out. I'm holding me for anyone